did it. Okay. Um. So. You can't really see it. Okay. Um. Today. Let me take this off. I want to talk about the art of being alone. So I want everybody to take me seriously, and I'm coming for real. Okay. So, the art of being alone. It's not easy. Um, it's hard. Um, and I read somewhere, I think it was a quote, that to stand being by yourself and being alone takes a strong person. And I can easily argue, um, growing up as an only child, um, that I've been alone my whole life. So, to say that, like, it's, like, difficult to be alone, and I'm talking in a relationships aspect, it's a little bit of a stretch, because when you're around your friends who aren't single, or who are talking to someone who has a boo, or a situation, a fling, somebody to talk to, um, who's within their sexual selection, because I'm not going to say opposite sex, because it's 2010, and not everybody's into the opposite sex. But anyways, um, it's not the same. Like, I've been alone my whole life, but when I think about it, like, when it comes to, like, relationships and stuff, like, I don't know that it's the same. Like, it's really not. Because coming home and being by yourself as a kid and not having a playmate it's cool if you know how to deal with it, but it's not the same if it's like coming home and being by yourself and you don't have anyone to snuggle with or anyone to be like booed up with. So it is a little different, I will say that. And yeah, I will say that. So I mean, in such regard, like, I don't know, I always wanted like to think about it, like being by myself. Um, I am talking to someone right now. Am I? Next. We are going there. But, like, if I were to be talking to someone right now, like, and then we aren't talking, I almost, like, I think I personally would almost feel like I need to find somebody to talk to ASAP and, like, immediately, ever so quickly to fill that void. But after being in a relationship, I am not one to jump from a relationship, one relationship into another at all because also with me with every relationship that I get into it gets that much deeper it gets so much deeper each time and so for me to jump into another one with somebody is so hard because I just feel like I didn't have my healing time and like especially when you've been in deep it's hard but um I guess I'll do tips on being by yourself. Um, I've been single for a really long time. Um, more than a year now. I have been, like, single. Like, not even Facebook official. Like, I mean, you have blings and stuff, but, like, to be, like, single, single, like, it's been, like, a year. More than a year. So, um, being by yourself. You just got to surround yourself with friends. And even though, like, being by yourself by yourself, like, coming home, like, not having a boo to cake with and stuff, um, that might not be the easiest thing, but, like, I don't know. I find when I'm, like, super single, I have more time for friends and stuff, and, like, that's when my best bonding happens. And, um, yeah. And also, like, what also helps for me is to write down my feelings, like how I'm feeling about something at the time or how something is like hitting me or like where I'm at with someone or like, I don't know, that always helps. Like I get, I get um, a lot of, I don't even know the word, feedback about myself from myself when I write down my feelings. 
which I'm probably actually going to do in a little bit, to tell you the truth. Um, also, like, you can't dwell on the fact, like, oh, I don't have a boo. Like, maybe holidays and, like, Valentine's Day and, like, Christmas and maybe your birthday might be, like, the toughest time. And maybe, like, those days when it's, like, raining outside or something, you just should probably be snuggling. That might be um, difficult as well, but, like, I don't know, like, you just gotta be okay with being by yourself, like, you gotta know what it feels like to be alone and to really make sure your priorities are straight and to focus on something else and to be, you know, engulfed in something else, and sometimes that's the best time for something good to come along, and something to surprise and sweep you off your feet, and any guy that says hello to you in the exchange number doesn't mean you're talking, okay, but, um, I'll do another video on that, talking, um, but, yeah, that's basically all I have to say on the art of being alone. Um, you just gotta really, like, understand yourself. And, like, if you don't understand yourself, take this time. Being alone, not having a boo, not talking to anybody. Take this time to understand yourself and to get to know you and, like, what you're about and where you're headed in life and, you know, how you feel about relationships and that aspect of your life. Take some time to think about that. Um, it might surprise you. You might really... <sighs> Sorry, you might have really needed it. That being said, um, okay.